Menteri Rangba ke Jala Megalaya Konrad Kis Sangma hak khat sau tarik nai lur arjar pulai ulan let ban play ya ke North East Fruit White Incubation Center lani ke jaka sna jingdi na kiso hak jaka ke badan IHM Shillong bat ke ni ke de ke center ke bening kong hak than chatai lammi ngi jongkari India ke jing sna wan ke de ke kam ke bala dan nadu umen berem hak ki riu lum bat lingba ke ni ke center ki bala dan jing tibet ki la ban yo jing hikai bat ki jing yarap ban sna ban pen biang pen ben bat ban pen yat yo ya ka Kerik senta kan long ru ke jing play ya ke jing khang ba ke jela megalaya kan dei kata ke fruit wine capital jonkari india ha kan ke segi la don lang documentary ha sarkar mda2 uba kerman sela bat ke doktor amprin lingdo uba h kar pran u mla ke maureng kneng na lor ki officer lambat ki wei pat so there we have it the pineapple and kasi mandarin honey wine and the sweet ginger ale and the dry ginger ale along this is a smooth semi dry yet sweet tasting wine that sits well on the palate and can be paired with many meat based dishes and daily products the other one is the dry and the sweet uh, ginger ale with approximately 60000 i beg your pardon 67000 metric tons of ginger production per year and more to come under the new ginger mission meghalaya is the 10th largest producer in the country with value addition of the spice being so this is a very very good event and i'm very happy to be a part of it honorable chief minister thank you for having me here and thank you for also allowing us to be part of this important event as we step forward and challenge the international wine makers in europe thank you so much kuble methela jayin talk to all the stakeholders and ensure that uh, it is rolled out smoothly and see that we are able to make the wine accessible uh, to the uh, public in general in terms of the tourist and so that it can be sold in certain locations uh, more easily without being uh, it being a wine shop as such so all this kind of different activities and uh, policy making is something that we are really working on we were convinced that there has to be a proper system a proper policy a proper framework a proper support structure a proper ecosystem that is going to allow the local fruit wine makers to really flourish in our state which would then unlock the potentials that are there for agriculture for farmers for tourists for entrepreneurs so on and so forth so that's what went into all of this and let me just tell you and share with you that this building that you're seeing and the structure you're seeing in front of us is, is it doesn't have didn't happen just like that there's a lot of work that has gone into it a lot of thought the thought process and a lot of energy by some really really great people that has actually made this possible so of course the people who are applying for it they know it it's not like a normal license you don't have to pay so much it is very very nominal fees mainly meant to only uh, complete the process of registration so that we actually have a you can keep a track on all the registrations taking place but the license in itself is very very nominal i was told that there was some problem in it i assure you that we will make the process smoother wherever the possibility is there to cut the time we will do that but point being that we are not charging much we making it very easy for them to access it uh, so that they can get the license and in days to come we are exploring we have not yet gone into the exact details of it we would like to see that these wines would be more uh, marketable in terms of just like they're selling in the hotels we are hopeful that in different tourist locations in different tourist shops even though it may not be a, a wine shop but uh, the local wines the wines that are made in a by our people uh, those wines will be accessible at least in certain kind of tourist locations to the shops so that people can actually buy and take the local wine so you will not need a license to actually sell the local wine so i think that kind of a uh, policy making is required for that we are trying to obviously talk to all the stakeholders and ensure that uh, it is rolled out smoothly <laughs>
Thank you.